This one's right got here. the 302 in it. It's what? 302 Ford? I didn't yes. Take you that far. Oh, jeez. So what year is this one? This is an 89. What did you pay for it? And it's uh, 6,000. Wow. I'm still in the process of the engine swap, but mm -hmm. you won't see. Oh, so you put a straight six in here. I put the L-series turbo in here. So I gotta tell you, I haven't seen an 810 in more than a quarter of a century. It's been, it's been a good morning for us so far. We've met one family whose family passion, mom, dad, sons, daughter, is hot rod Japanese cars. It's amazing. I, I, it's such a family activity. It's it's really pleasing to see. But this is Brian, and Brian, thanks for allowing us to come over your house this morning. Yeah, good to meet you. Brian, tell us how the your family automotive passion started. Well, I've always been a, a car guy. I'm a, I'm an old school Fox body guy. Back in the day, I just loved the Fox bodies. Had two of them. So, uh, all growing up, uh, my son and I talked about when he he turned 18, he's gonna we're gonna build a car together. We're gonna build a, build a Mustang, right? So when he turned 18, um, really? he told me, he said, Dad, I want a Supra. So I, yeah. and then I told him, I said, the only way you're going to make horsepower is with a V8, right? So let's go get a Fox Body. We'll build that thing. It'll be a hot rod. And he's like, no, nah, no. Nah. We go to shows, right? With his Supra. With his Supra. Yeah. Uh, my wife, his mom, uh, super into it. So it's a family thing. So here he is, 19, 20 years old. How many 19, 20 year olds? are going to go hang out with their mom and dad at a Is he teaching show. you things about these cars? I'd have to say, yeah. Isn't that something? Yeah. Can Gage come over here and tell me about his car? Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. So what year is this one? This is an 89. Wow. Yeah, and how did you find answers. this one? This was on Craigslist then. This was back in high school, senior year. Uh, I was in Missouri. One owner car? Yeah. 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 He bought it new. He bought it new for $28,000 in 1989. 28 grand. In 89. That's a lot of money. And you bought it what year? 2015, 14, uh, 15? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so what had it deteriorate? I mean, what did you what did you pay for it? In it? Uh, 6000 Uh The only thing really wrong with it was it had some, some uh, spider webbing on the hood from the paint. You yeah, had it repa repa repainted? Yes, yeah, the original color, but not the original paint. Man, it's beautiful. Ooh. This thing is unbelievable. <laughs> so originally you didn't have a single turbo? The factory motor actually was single turbo. Okay. Um, it was a 26 millimeter. I only made about two, about 250. This yep. one's a 66. Uh -huh. so that's a huge upgrade. And what do you think it's got now? Uh, I make 600 wheel now. <laughs> Have you, had, you had it on a dyno? Yeah. Oh, yeah I got dyno geez, for it. 600 horse. Wow. And suspension wise? Uh, that's actually just on uh, lowering springs. Uh -huh. um, at the time, I just wanted to, I didn't want to deal with the rideability of mm -hmm. coilovers, so it's at springs. All right, so you have a spare Supra. We all need one. So your Supra is what year? 89. And what year is this one? This is an 87. The differences in this is the taillights and the a front end, but okay. this one doesn't have a front Same end. Same basic so. body. Same body. This one's got here. the 302 in it. It's what? It's got a 302 <laughs> in it. 302 Ford? I didn't yes. take you that far. Oh, jeez. So is this a drift car? Uh, we were, I was trying to, but it's hard to slide, it's hard to drift uh, carbureted motors because they bog down around the corners. Really? Um, so now it's just kind of hanging out. Was this motor in there when you bought it? Yeah, the only thing we've done is put that ratchet strap on it. And that was, uh, <laughs> that was to keep the, uh, the belt from flying off. So what kind of transmission is in there? Uh, it's the BorgWarner T5. They, so they what, what, are your, right what are your plans for this? Uh, well, I was going to fuel inject it and uh, try to keep drifting it, but not too sure. I mean, it's having some issues, so we're gonna we're gonna try to revive it, but not well, this, this sure. is kind of like your two your two worlds colliding. Well, that's so he bought this uh, a couple years ago, and he and he knew that you know because I'm a Fox Body guy. Yeah, and yeah. Of course, yeah. I now I like Toyota, and he gave me the keys. He said, "Here, it's yours." I was like, "No, you you keep it and have fun with it." Uh, so these are glass fenders. Yeah, yep. they're fiberglass. Yeah, these is, these yeah. are actually really nice fenders that they got really beat up, but this is what everybody wants. These so this is the wide body fenders. So now you have got some of your friends here, the part of the, part of your club. So your name is Cameron. Cameron. Okay. So this is this is a real hot rod in my mind. This is a real hot rod because it didn't have that motor to begin with. You no sir. So what kind of shape was this car when you bought it? So it was a stock, completely bone stock Mach One. So so it was a V8 car. Still a V8 car. Still a four cam car. 
Manual gearbox. Yep, still manual. It was a five speed, it's a six speed now. So can you flip this hood up so we can yeah, see? Yeah, absolutely. So that's a four cam, a yep. 4.6 liter? 4.6 liter V8, yep. Came across a good deal on a Cobra, pulled all the guts out of it. And that, I mean, that, look how wide that sucker is. is it, was it a challenge to kind of get? We lifted the front end of the car up, took the bumper off, and actually had an engine hoist through the bumper bar and took the strut towers loose and then dropped the entire K member out of the bottom of the car. This pulley's smaller. If you look down in there, that's actually a two pound lower pulley as well. Okay. So it makes that pulley bigger. So it spins the supercharger. It makes about 15 to 16 pounds of boost. Whoa. And hey, what's the horsepower stock? Uh, I believe 430, somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. So it's right about 100 more than stock. All right, well, man, thank well, you. Thank you. This is an unusual uh, scene here because we have a Japanese hot rod car. We have the, the Mustang Cobra hot rod car. And now we have Zach's Mercedes-Benz AMG, where this one is a factory hot rod. Those other two had to be modified with different engines and things. This one came from the factory. So Zach, thanks for bringing this thing out this morning. No problem. So what year is this car? This is a 2003, um, it's a CLK 55 AMG. Oh, it's 20 years old. Yeah, wow. it is. Yeah. How many miles on it? Um, it just hit 153K. Uh, I believe there's only 1,500 of them produced for each year out of three years to 06. Um, you don't see a lot of them on the road. I was on Marketplace the same night I sold my Camaro, and a guy in Virginia had this car, and I, I started looking into it, and I found out how rare it was. And uh, it's got a 5.5 liter M113 V8 in it. It makes almost 400 horse. Naturally aspirated. Naturally aspirated, uh -huh. yep. And so I, I wanted to jump on it. So I called my buddy Gage, and uh, we were on the road to Virginia that night, and I drove it back. And Really? Yeah. So you're pleased with it. How long ago did you buy it? Um, it's been a little over a year now, so I'm gonna probably keep her around for a while. Well, thank you so much. Yep, Great no car, man. Thank you. It's been an amazing morning where a lot of families we've met are into it as a family activity. Now we're over Shay's house, a few miles from where we were. We're in Rock Hill, South Carolina, and he's into cars that I kind of get it. Like, <laughs> this is my this is my generation stuff, uh, Z car. So Shay, thanks for yeah. inviting us yeah, over. Did you take off down. from work today? To, to, uh, no, I work from home. I'm oh, a part-time okay. uh, school teacher, so okay. I can do that online. So luckily I get to be here for this. All right, so your thing is Datsuns, not even Nissans, they're really Datsuns. It, it kind of spilled over into Nissans just so to get some variety, but yeah, it's mainly all Datsuns. Uh -huh. What was the first car you had to turn on this passion? Uh, the gold S30 in front of us. I've had that one for about eight or nine years now. Yep. And it's been kind of a slow learning process, but I rebuilt everything on it, learned uh, how to do everything myself, cut, weld. So this rebuild. car was a stock Z car when you got it? Yes. And now it's now it's very hot rotted, I guess. Yeah. So what did you weld on it? Uh, I made my own floor pans and frame rails. So that was, that was the most daunting thing. Other than that, I've done coilover suspension, changed out the interior, race bucket seats. Uh, done some mechanical stuff to the engine, just things you can do to maintain an old engine and kind of spruce them up, you know. Mm -hmm. um, just been cleaned up with some a little bit of cam advance on it. Fresh spark plugs, bigger wires, bigger coil. Um, Have you autocrossed it or anything? I've taken it to a couple of Piedmont drift events and that's been a lot of fun. That course is crazy. Gotten a couple other cars to take out there and kind of save this one from beating on it. But that's what kind of the original motivation was when putting this car together. Okay, you show us the engine here? Yeah, So absolutely. did you buy it? Was it in pretty good shape? Did it have the paint job on there? You have to this, put this? Uh, it was resprayed in the 80s. It was aged. It's got about 115,000 miles on it. So redid the head, built it up. There's These come with an adjust, three adjustments of, of cam timing from the factory. As the engine ages, you can adjust it. So I just threw full advance on it. Um, and it seems to seems to sing pretty well. Oh wow, yeah. cool. Um, wall barrel, 255 fuel pump, bigger radiators, just kind of reliability mods. How did you find this car? This was uh, back when Craigslist was still useful. <laughs> and uh, it was on, just kind of tucked underneath a tree somewhere up in like a farm up in Salisbury, North Carolina. Really? Yeah, and uh, this kid had just, you know, his dad had it. He kind of just got it running to sell. And that was before it was right before these things really took off as like collector cars. And so what, where'd you go from here? I th oh, I've gone through a bunch of cars, but I think the next thing was would be the 810. 
So I gotta tell you, I haven't seen an 810 in more than a quarter of a century. I, I wish it was a little bit cleaner to show you guys, but I mean, it's, it's a so sofa inside. So what an 810 inside. was, was taking this engine, like a, a Z car, straight six cylinder motor, and, and putting it in a four door sedan. So it was kind of a, a sedan version of a Z car. Used to so say. Is that a 20? It's an L24 with fuel injection. So that's a 240Z drive train. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so what year is it? This one is a 77. So how did you ever find this? There's, there can't be like three in the world. <laughs> um, this one again was in kind of the Piedmont area of Carolina. Uh, this one I found in a 810 Datsun Maxima Facebook group. Someone just shared it, it wasn't theirs. They're like, hey, someone go grab this. Wow. And again, a uh, thousand bucks, drove it onto the trailer, put a new radiator in it, that's all it needed. And have you had to go through the motor or just just that's the way it was. Uh, spark plugs, wires, new belts. Uh, I've done a couple seals here and there, a coolant temp sensor. These are really simple kind of yeah, analog yeah. fuel injection. So yeah. if it sees good temperature here and this is spinning and there's pressure there, everything kind of works. Do you talk the head occasionally? Because I know these had a habit of blowing head gaskets. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Got some miles on Check them. the heads, check the valve clearances. Mm -hmm. and. They're, they're tough old tractor motors. So what's your intention? Is just enjoy it the way it it's is? It's comfy. Or? I drive it all the time. I take it to town, huh. take it to cars and coffee. <laughs> um, Have you ever had anybody know what it is? I mean, it's, rarely. I Maybe bet. like one or two people. I bet. Well, I like this. I mean, I really like this. It's like a big boy 510. Yeah. What are the Z cars you got in the garage here? So these ones I'm just working on for some friends. If you want to see them though, the green one has triple carbs on it. Yeah, sure. Um, they wanted to put the triple carbs on it, so I installed the kit for them, went through the head, made sure that everything was in timing, checked valve clearances. What shape was this in when your buddy got it? About about this. Uh, this one is relatively rust-free. It, I guess, had a turbo engine in it at one point. And then this one's a later one. Uh, so again, a friend of a friend. She had one of these in high school when in the 80s. This is an 88 2 plus 2. Uh, 300ZX. She knew I was into cars. She was like, hey, can you find me one? I was like, oh, keep huh. an eye out. And um, went and scooped this up. It was running and driving. And as soon as you look at something underneath the hood on these things, um, it spirals out of control into a full top end rebuild, you know, pull the engine out, do change all the seals out, change all the bushings out, because everything's just falling apart on these, mm. these older cars. But um, this one is, you know, getting towards the last bits of it being put back together. And, and being sent home. Oh, cool. Yeah. Now the 240SX, is that yours? Yes. Oh, well, let's take a look at that. That one, that one's pretty interesting. Cheap marketplace find. Um, this one ran and drove really good. Where was this car? This one was somewhere near Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And uh, it was it was all stock, has you know, full interior. It's just an aged uh, 89 240SX. So you've slammed it. It was stock when you got it. It had coilovers on it. I've just adjusted them down. Okay. Uh, now it's got a full Rose Factory angle kit on it. I've done an well, engine. a loud hawk, isn't it? <laughs> I'm still in the process of the engine swap. You won't see. Oh, so you put a straight six in here. I put the L-series turbo in here. So, so this is an L28. So this was a four, it was a four solar? Yeah, this was uh, a single overhead cam yeah, uh, yeah, K. Yeah. And so you had the room. There, there was room to fit. I mean, I see people swap RBs and 2JZs into these cars. I'm like, well, I've got a straight six line around. I can maybe make this. I've seen these cars with LS Chevys in them. Mm -hmm. And then with that, you get a ton of room with that. Yeah. Yeah. So this one, this is what I'm really excited to, to have rip around. No kidding. Is this manual transmission? Yeah, five speed. Uh -huh. The original five speed from the car adapted to run with the older engine. So swap some bell housings around, machine work a little bit here and there. And those are Z car wheels? Uh, yeah, matching from the, the donor car of the engine, uh, 81 Turbo ZX. Wow, you've, you've got it pretty bad, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's a bug. And it, it's Do you have a good. favorite? Like if I took away all your cars and said you could have one back, which would it be? Oh, <laughs> man. Uh, it's like, which, which kidney do I need? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I've cut my teeth the most on that gold one, but honestly, I think the 240 would really? take it. Yeah, just because the uniqueness of the swap and mm -hmm. from a driving perspective, these chassis are really nice. Yeah. They're comfortable for daily driving and they're very sporty. So like I see a driveway in a garage full of cars. How did this sickness happen? Uh, I think Hot Wheels were like the first trap that, that got me into this. I remember seeing a Datsun at a car meet when I was probably like 12 years old 
and it was in rough shape. It wasn't painted, it was dented. It was running on like four cylinders, but the shape of it just really caught my eye. That That's kind of what fueled it for me to find one later on. Yeah. I had a poster from old Super Street magazines of, of that on the wall, and then I found the gold one, and I was like, I'm in. <laughs> uh, it's, just, it's just a rabbit hole from there. Yep. Well, I appreciate you letting Absolutely. us come and share your uh, collection here. Absolutely. Thanks, thanks so much, man. Yeah. And I hope you've enjoyed another episode of Barn Fight Hunter. Happy hunting. 700 bucks you paid for this? The body was all intact. It was just the motor. Uh, somebody had done the uh, the timing belt and didn't line up the cam gears right, so it locked the motor up. And this is Lisa's car. This is a 2000 GS300 Lexus. Mm -hmm. So you've done the bodywork and paint already, obviously, because it looks yeah. beautiful. It used to be a really nice car, but a tractor trailer tire took out the front end. And, and that's the engine out of it? So we took the engine out and we have another engine for hers over here under wraps. Um, that one's another 2JZ, just like that one. Uh, be around 600 horsepower with a 57 millimeter. I mean, you need 600? Hey, I need to get to the grocery store, you know. <laughs> Gotta get there quick. <laughs>